Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero. Today I'm playing an old favorite from 1982, River Raid. Let's see if I can remember how to play this. So, I'm in a plane and I shoot stuff and I get fuel. If I push up I go faster, if I push down I go slower. I can blow stuff up. I gotta stay over the river. If I touch the riverbank, even though I'm in a plane for some reason, I will explode. And the last thing you want to do is blow up your own fuel supplies. Because they are few and far between in some stages. So, I remember playing this a lot as a kid. I think it was probably like one of my family's favorites. I don't really know why we're blowing everything up here, but we are. And I blew up a lot of fuel. I need a bunch of fuel. I blew up more fuel. I'm not doing very well. See, at the bottom I have a three there. That indicates how many lives I have left. I think. And, uh... I'm just trying to go through here without running into planes. So I don't really understand how an airplane can run into, like, a boat. Helicopters, that makes sense. Other airplanes, that makes sense. Helicopters, I mean, boats, that doesn't make sense. See, I had to slow down. If you push... So, this is an old Atari game, so obviously there's only so much you can do. You have, uh, one button and... You have up, down, left, and right, and that's it. So, not a lot of variety there, and I'm dead. And that's how it restarts. So, let me play it again. Uh, there we go. So, there it sets you all ready. You're in the air. It doesn't do anything until you push a button. And, um, again, the game is only for points. Um, a couple of weird things about about the way this, this game works. One, your shots follow where your plane is. Watch as I go across the screen. If I start not moving, they'll still move. It's, it's not like it's an inertia thing. So, if you shoot at something and then try to dodge out of the way of something else, you'll miss the thing you were shooting at. That's a very strange mechanic if you're not used to it. Also, if you hold the shoot button down, it will shoot multiple times, but you can only have one on the screen at a time. But if you have something that's close to you and you shoot, and you're holding it down, it'll shoot a second shot really quickly, which can be good or bad depending on what's going on. See, I'm trying to not shoot all the fuel away, but it's it's hard not to. Without running into the sides, you got to get more fuel. And, uh... Yeah, so we had an Atari when I was... I don't know, it was before we got this, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, so we must have had the Atari when I was like... I don't know, maybe... Five... And younger. So I was... I mean, this was the game that I played... This was the... not the game. This was the system that I played, though. First. We had the Atari in our house. We also had a ColecoVision. Um, but that was more my grandfather's thing. We only had three games. We had Donkey Kong, which is a pretty good Donkey Kong game. Um, if I remember correctly, anyway. And then we had uh, Mr. Do, but for this, man, we had everything. Um, I remember going and visiting relatives or friends, and sometimes they'd like give you an Atari game to take home. And, you know, the games, they, I don't know if they were very expensive. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember. But it seemed to me like they couldn't have been that expensive, because people were giving them out a lot. I mean, by this time, this was like 1986, I guess. Um, so I think by 1986, I mean, you know, this game came out in 1982 or, or so. That's the year that's on it. A couple of interesting things. Notice the Activision logo down at the bottom. Activision was an outgrowth of Atari. And you'll see copyright 1982 Activision. Activision was some Atari developers decided that they wanted to 
start their own company. Basically, they, they weren't getting very much recognition. A lot of times the games were made by one person. And that one person would only get paid, you know, like a regular wage, like the same as, as uh, you know, like a guy that was putting on chips down in the factory. So, the one guy would make Atari, you know, like, a game would sell like a million copies or something, and, and the, the programmer would make like, you know, $30,000 a year. So these guys were like, we can do better than that. We want to own our games, we want to get the royalties, I want to make a few cents off of each game that's sold and all that. And so, at Activision, the programmers were like rock stars. And, uh, they decided, well, it would be a good idea, why don't we, since Activision was making some of the best Atari games, why don't we brand the games that we make? And so, on every screen in most Activision games of the time, the Activision logo is visible for the entire game. So you'll notice down there, it says Activision. You're not playing an Atari game anymore, you're playing an Activision game. They want to remind you that. Um, you know, your Atari may be what you bought, but you're not playing Atari anymore, you're playing Activision. So, I, I don't really know, like, if this goes on forever or what. I mean, obviously nobody was really good at it when I was a kid. I mean, you know, the game gives you three lives and that's it, you just play till you die. And that... So, I remember this narrow part when I was a kid was, like, impossible. You know, I'm, I'm not playing on a real Atari controller or anything, I'm, I'm actually playing on a Wii controller, a classic controller. Oh, that part going over is pretty tough. So, there's lots of enemies here, but I don't want to kill my fuel. Because, see, as you get farther in the game, your fuel supply has become harder to get to. Oh, and I slowed down just so I could run into that airplane. So, the graphics in this game are pretty amazing for the Atari, um, as far as what they were able to accomplish. Because it's not really... Oh, see, I slow down because I want to be careful, and I run right into it. Um, but basically the way the Atari works is really convoluted. And they have to do all sorts of crazy hacks to be able to get this level of detail. Which I know sounds crazy, because the level of detail is really low. But compared to most other games from that era... Okay, that failed. The level of detail is pretty high. Anyway, if you want to give it a try, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's called River Raid from Activision. Um, I'm probably going to do more of these from time to time, just games that I grew up on. Um, these will be my Atari game series. So join me next time. Bye.